Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you how to get free energy from the sun with portable solar panels but most importantly I want to show you the differences between the solar panels because they are made from different materials so some are more powerful than others and yeah let's go to the testing <laughs> So I've got three panels here with me, which are different in size all of them, but only the one from Aoki is made from different material. The one at the top is a 7 watt solar panel, second 14 watts and the third is a 21 watts, in which the first two are made from polycrystalline material and the one from Aoki from the bottom is made from monocrystalline, which the polycrystalline is more cheap and also not so powerful, that's why we get so much difference in the watts. The monocrystalline is more efficient and more powerful because looking also at the size from the middle and from the bottom we can see the differences and also the middle one needs 4 panels but only delivers 14 watts while the bottom needs only 3 panels and delivers 21 watts so how the monocrystalline is more efficient it can charge up to 2 devices as it comes with 2 usbs while the other two only come with one USB, which charging two devices at the same time from only this solar panel will result in many hours, but well, it's still possible. Also must take in mind that each port must use approximately 5 volts, so in theory the AWKey solar panel will deliver up to 10 volts. Taking it here fast to the test, I have here a little tester that shows the voltages, the amperes and how many amperes it charged already, which is a bit hard to see, but I'll try to take some zoom screenshots and we can clearly see the difference on on the output between the solar panels, which the middle one still delivers some decent power, but the small one 7 watts is just too weak and will result in too many hours to fully charge the device. Here I have a power bank and a smartphone and trying to connect them both in the two USBs that this solar panel has to see if the voltage or the amperage will change when connecting the smartphone, which I was quite impressed that the amperage dropped very little, only the voltages dropped to under 4.90 volts, which is still good to charge a device. Now in this test I will just just let the power bank to charge and see in how much time it will charge 100 amperes and the monocrystalline charged 100 amperes in 3.40 minutes while the polycrystalline it charged in 3.40 minutes only 61 amperes which results in 39% less. So this results that the polycrystalline is indeed not so efficient, but how it charges with around 1 ampere, it's possible to charge a smartphone, because many smartphones that doesn't have quick charge, the original chargers they charge with around 1 ampere, but trying to charge a tablet will just result in too many hours. Of course these kind of tests are not 100% accurate, but is to give an idea of the different solar panels and how efficient they are, because as you saw the difference in sizes when open it wasn't that big, because one has 4 panels, other 3 panels, the 4 panels were a bit smaller than the one with 3 panels, but the difference in the output is quite big. Summarizing all this, it's nice to have this kind of portable solar panels as in the summer we can get free energy from the sun and also having an idea of how efficient and how different are the polycrystalline and the monocrystalline solar panels. Thank you guys for watching, let me know if you have any solar panel and if yes then which and I see you on the next one.